Welcome back, everybody. Dren Six Weight Plays. We're playing Xenonauts 2 here. This is a milestone 4, 4.23. Uh, I have lots of bad problems going on. I need to get myself back to base. Uh, this thing's flying around. I, my, my panic is going to go up because I will not be able to get back to this thing because of my foolishness in this endeavor here. Uh, let's get us back to base. We're going to get an abductor thing. We want to stop due to lack of storage. Okay, we've got to go in here. And we've got to get rid of stuff. Um, actually, I can go and I can transfer sectons, reapers, scions. Billions. Okay, I'm under. I can go ahead and put those over there. I should be good now. Transfer those. I don't need this cleaner corpse. I don't think. Okay. Okay, so now I should be back to doing my thing. 14 hours to get the accelerated cannon, then I have to go get the Gauss cannons. Um, be 20 hours to get the Wraith done. I don't have a lot of money. can't remember Goss Blaster is going to take more money than I have so it's probably going to uh, going to have to wait a bit all right um Yeah, we've got troubles right here in River City. Okay, I don't think I can do anything about that. UFO abductor, here we go. <clears throat> the abductor is a medium-sized UFO that is almost at 60 meters in length. It appears primarily designed to maximize usable internal space, but is also equipped with heavy armor and a powerful engine array. As the name implies, the abductor is most commonly encountered gathering inf unfortunate victims to be transported back to the alien homeworld. It is well adapted for this task, equipped with a huge number of specimen tubes to house captured humans or other life forms during this during the mission. Additionally, several surgical tables are located among the specimen tubes. The exact purpose of these devices is unknown, but perhaps not difficult to imagine. Laboratory testing confirms that traces of human blood are present on all recovered tables. Despite their significant bulk, these ves vessels are exceptionally fast. At maximum speed, they are faster than an observer. Thankfully, their poor turning circle means this does not transfer to meaningful combat maneuverability. However, the most impressive feature of the abductor is its durability. Although the hull itself is not heavily reinforced, this craft has, much, has so much armor that few weapons can scratch it. Finding some method of breaking or penetrating this armor appears the only realistic path to victory. Oh boy. Advanced Alloys, Dragonfly Dropship. I think I need to start um, I'm going to start off another hangar over here. And then we're going to have to just advance time here for a little bit. Uh, get the USA base. One day. 
for each of those. For 24 hours. They're just going to ring up disasters on us left, right, and center. Um... I guess the question is, is do I want to go after this guy with my... Don't let me launch long-range people. You're saying Phantom 1 and Phantom 2 couldn't get there. Alright, let's try this. It's going to do that kind of stuff to me. Okay. Um, I hate to wait. I think I need to have him build me a few thousand dollars because I need... The Mars rebuild takes 125,000, so I need to get up to at least that before month end. So I can try and get that back in. And I also want to do this. Uh, well, no reason to do that until I have it rebuilt, right? Um, I needed to go in here because I have... And I need to take more grenades and sniper uh, it's about as good as you're gonna get laser rifleman you can grab more grenades so why don't we do that I think from here on out, I'm just going to be blowing up whatever gets in my way, if I can. You need to be, we need to make a new thing for you. Um, you're going to go here. And then you're going to make a new loadout. We're going to call this the G Assault. Make them skull and truculence. Okay, I've got three missing people. I need some kind of a shield. Yeah, you'll do. Um. I need somebody I can turn into an assault. Probably turn you into a G assault. Can I turn you into a G assault? Perfect. Let's put him in the boat. And then, uh, 50, huh? 59. Yeah, you need to be about a 58 strength. Could make you an, uh, a rifleman. And we'll put you in the boat. All right. Uh, that's going to probably be about as good as I can get. Ugh. Yep, that's about as good as it's going to get. Okay, uh, we've got to wait for some more time to pass. What is this? Okay, if we launch 
guys out here. Oh, don't go away. Autopsy ray. Rays are an extraterrestrial life form of probable amphibious re re uh, amphibious origin. These peculiar creatures are deadly opponents on the battlefield, possessing great intelligence, remarkable agility, and excellent vision. You can see their stats right here. Reflexes are really great, and their accuracy isn't bad either. <clears throat> the physique of the wraith is slim and rangy, with elongated, triple-jointed legs that appear better suited to swimming than running. Their head is disproportionately large, with well-developed eyes and enormous omnivorous mouth. Two luminous fleshy protrusions of unknown function on either side of the cranium. The autopsy revealed a number of hardened alloy plates surgically inserted just below the skin in various locations around the body. The subdermal armor renders these creatures relatively hardy combatants despite their otherwise lightweight physiology. Rays earn their name from the remarkable cloaking abilities that make them rather difficult to hit, as your soldiers can attest. Their chameleon-like skin can instantly change color to match the surroundings and their armor and weapons incorporate tiny optical projectors that allow them to mimic this behavior. However, this cloaking effect has limitations, primarily that is unconvincing at short range where the shimmer and visual imperfections are more easily spotted. Inflicting damage reportedly also causes temporary disruption to the camouflage, leaving the wraith vulnerable to further attacks from for a short period. Nonetheless, wraiths are skilled and versatile combatants with few weaknesses. We should treat them with respect they deserve. I can get stuck or stealth army, but from what I remember, it's not very good. Um, make the bigger ship, I guess. I need to make a bigger drop ship. Um, Hundred and twelve thousand costs fifty thousand. I can make two of those. I can make one of these, or I could get myself a little bit more money. What do I have in here? Can I do Manted Corpse? Yeah, let's do that for a couple days. What that does is that gives me... Uh, I can sell any Manteds I pick up, any other Manteds I have. Okay, uh, let's advance. Uh, well, I'll go back to base because I don't know where he went. Now, where is he? It's down here again, but I don't. I don't think I have the airplanes back yet, do I? Uh, they're still working on their health. Got their fuel, but they've got to do their health and their armor still. Oh, man. So it's going to be a while. All right, let's try this again. I just want to send the phantoms to see what it is. know what that was all about. It just keeps come running away from me. Oh man, this, they don't they don't rebuild real fast at all, do they? Uh Well, how come I didn't see the UFO? Okay, I think I'm going to let it build up a little bit of cash. That's what I was looking for. I'm going to rebuild the Mars. Make myself poor, but I'm coming right up on month end, so I don't care. Uh, 
Uh, it can't really do anything. Just get me some money. I think we're going to get to month end here. Okay, we got to month end without too much bad happening, which means the beginning of the next month, things, bad things are going to happen. Uh, let's see, we're going to be in, going into the seventh month. We should probably get a whole bunch of bad things. Notice the Soviet Union was way up there. Um, this is what I wanted to show you uh, before I... 15 minutes in. Um, based on the... You see the uh, stuff down here? Like Africa is at 33 uh, panic. And Africa is at 1.14. 38, 1.8. So a difference of 5 made a difference of 6 in the count here. He's like 59, so that's a couple points in the Asia Pacific. He's at 47. A couple points uh, away from 50, so it's a 0.98. Notice the Soviet Union is 0.84 because it's so much higher over 50. It's think it's 45 is the cutoff. 45 is like 1.0. 1.00. So a little bit under, you get more points on the multiplier. And if you're over, you get negative points to the multiplier. So you're getting less money. It says they should fund me 925,000 in the Soviet Union, only giving me 812. Okay, so I only have 1.7 million this time. Okay, so I need to like down some UFOs and get some things back. Uh, we're going to check in the bases. There's some things I really just have to do. Seven days. Um, 31%. Man, they're just taking forever. Um, okay, I don't have a lot of leeway here with money. Um, whatever it says is junk, I'm going to sell as junk. I'm going to trust it to have been correct. Um, I have things to build. Um, first thing I need to get up there is another Phantom Interceptor for shoot downs. And then in the vehicles, I want to do this, which is 50 grand, and armor. Oh man, armor costs a lot. But it would make my thing last longer. Make my tank last longer. Um, now, before I do that, there's two other things I want to do. I want to go here. Uh, I am going to build like a missile battery for each one of these bases. Now, if I ever get enough money, I'll be able to actually send them up. I can build some regular weapons. This is going to be almost four days, so there's no reason to queue up any weapons at this point. Let's just zip along and see if we can get my planes up to healthy. Okay. Uh, I just wanted to go in here because I want to make sure that this phantom is... Not doing. No, I don't want an accelerated cannon. I want laser lances. Right? Oh, I have to get rid of this. Yeah, I need to get Gauss weapons for them, but now I can get. Uh, no, I want base. Four days until I can build anything. Two days for that, so I'm going to be a couple days off. Take nabbit. Okay. Uh, let's 
think I'm going to have it make me some more money. All right, where are you? You're right there, and you're a big... I think you're a bomber. We're going to send in just the phantoms. Yeah, it's a bomber. Let's go after it. All right, Phantom 3. Phantom 1. And Phantom 2, you'll come in from, I guess, this side. All right, let's go slow. It's got a lot of armor. It's going to turn to this side. All right, Phantom 3, you're going to roll down, and so is Phantom 2. No, Phantom 2, you can't roll anymore. Oh, it's going to hit me. Boy, they shoot them torpedoes really fast, don't they? You really got those torpedoes off really bad. Took some health there. Okay. Uh, let's get ourselves back to base. That's just bomber wreckage, so we're just going to get some stuff out of it. Okay. Now he's... Is he an abductor? All right, we're going to send up these guys. Um, am I still waiting? God. Yeah, things are going. Things are heating up here. What's my time? Twenty-two minutes. Probably going to be a, quite a few air battles here. Looks like things are heating up. It's an abductor. going to run away from me. He's going to run away from me. All right, we've got to just return to base. We don't have any fuel left. Yeah, uh, return to base. He's going to do whatever he's going to do. I've got my X3 Dragonfly dropship. The X3 Dragonfly is a tilt rotor dropship that combines the performance of a turboprop Aircraft with the functionality of a helicopter. Increasing increased carrying capacity and speed make it a major upgrade over the older X2 Skyhawk. The most notable feature of the Dragonfly are the twin tiltable rotor assemblies, each of which is auto-stabilized and can be controlled independently. This makes the Dragonfly easy to maneuver in tight spaces. An important consideration given it will frequently be called upon to deploy soldiers into confined urban environments. These rotors are reinforced with alien alloys and driven by a pair of ER-2 Elenium reactors that allow the generator of truly monstrous amounts of thrust. When locked in flight position, i.e. tilted forwards, the Dragonfly is easily capable of breaking the sound barrier. Although smaller than the Skyhawk, the Dragonfly can nonetheless carry a larger squad of 12 combatants and up to two vehicles. This increased carrying capacity is primarily possible due to the removal of the Skyhawk's enormous fuel tanks, which are no longer required due to the aforementioned Elenium reactors, Unsurprisingly, constructing a Dragonfly will be expensive and consume large quantities of precious alien materials, yet I suspect the price is well worth paying. One does not require an intellect as fast as my own to observe that bringing more soldiers into battle will increase our chances of victory. This is true. Okay, assign research project. Let's go for alloys. I think we'll go alloys and then plasma weapons. Alloys, I think, is going to be more important because it's going to give us armor. Um... You're done there. The first thing we got to do is build that. Oh, we don't have a spot, do we? 
We've got to wait, don't we? We've got to wait until this dang thing is done. we got to wait two days before we can build anything like that. Okay, uh, how much does it cost to build the, the boat? Um, Dragonfly costs 500000 So I can spend like 300000 to build some other stuff. I want to build a couple of rifles. That's 160. Uh, how about a couple of Gauss pistols? If I build three Gauss pistols, that would be shield, heavy, sniper, right? And then I could actually build another Gauss rifle. Or maybe I should build another laser rifle. I don't know what to build. Uh, oh, I know what I can build. Guardian armor costs 50,000. And that's where we'll stop. That'll take me 15, 22, 37, 45, 55, a little over two days, which is about the time I'll be able to start the X, the, the big dropship. Okay. Okay, where are you? You're back again. Uh, he's gotta be an abductor, right? I can't deal with an abductor. Okay, what we're gonna do, we're gonna line up here. And you're gonna line up here. And you, I'll line up here. You guys are going to fire off a salvo of missiles. Okay, USA 4, kick in the afterburners. You have shot your missiles. USA 5, you are going to go this way. Kicking your afterburners. USA 4, lead the battle. USA 5, leave the battle. On afterburners, we're just trying to get off the battlefield. We did a little bit of damage to him, try to be, maybe upset him a little bit and get ourselves back to base. Now, can I, I'm playing shenanigans here, so we're going to launch, launch aircraft, one, two, and three, and then we're going to click on these guys, squadron one, select new target, can you get to these guys? Before he goes off radar. What's my fuel? 81%? Let's tail him. If we can. Alright, let's see if we can take down this abductor.
Okay. No, 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 not you. Uh, you and you. Okay, Phantom One. Uh, no. You've got to stay this way because you're going to have to dodge this thing. Phantom Two. Two, you're gonna s come back to target him. Took a little bit of hit, but I took him down. Okay. All right, we gotta think about this. It's dockyards, I really hate dockyards. Um, where am I at for my rebuilds? Less than an hour. Okay, I need to look at my stores. What have I got? I got lots of room, so I can go get this. All right, let's uh, go build a team. Tell you what, 32 minutes, we won't build a team. We'll stop right here. Uh, we'll put in a cut here. I will build up a team. We will go on another abductor uh, recovery mission here. See if we can't get some... Uh, a bunch of stuff to be able to sell, plasma guns and stuff like that. Okay, and then we will get, probably along the way, we should be able to get the, uh, if I wait, I don't know, I, I will look at this offline. Anyway, uh, I'm trying out a new microphone, so hopefully this will have worked for recording volume and stuff. Uh, I tried to record some stuff earlier today, and it didn't work so well, so I'm trying this again here, and we're going to see if this is going to work out. So I'm not going to record the next step right away i might not do that till uh, another day or two till i figure out all my microphone stuff okay got new headphones because the old ones broke and i'm trying to figure everything out with obs and sound levels and all that so um bear with me while it takes me a little while to sort through all the technical issues all right um if you like what you see hit the thumbs up button if you really like to see go ahead and subscribe hit the notify bell be notified upload videos and or schedule streams I have three unformed playthroughs going on right now, one with Rogue Trader from Alcat Games, one from Battletech by Harebrain Schemes, and one from Baldur's Gate 3 by Larian Studios. I also do a Saturday morning uh, stream uh, with Pathfinder Kingmaker. It was a fan choice. They told me to play a female monk uh, and to romance Tristan, who's one of the main NPCs. So that's what I'm trying to do there. Uh, that one is approaching Chapter 6. Uh, Larian, I'm in Chapter 3. I've gotten into this Baldur's Gate finally. And I'm in Chapter 4 for the uh, for Rogue Trader, and it's not really chapter per se, it's like story missions, and I'm like up to the third, fourth one I think it is now. Uh, but it sounds like it's very, very daunting, so in uh, Battletech I'm spending a lot of my time right now uh, doing different battles, trying out different mechs, and trying to figure out how everything works properly so that when I go on that mission I just don't get myself trashed. Um, so join me for all that. There'll be a couple more things coming out here in the fall and the winter as we get more and more inclement weather and I'll be in more so I'll have more time to do this kind of stuff. Uh, I may even try to get some of my family members to jump on uh, some co-op games like uh, either Rogue Trader or Baldur's Gate 3 and record like joint sessions and see if you guys like that. Uh, if you, any of you would be interested in something like that please let me know in the comments. I'll be putting that out as a thing in my other videos. I'll be mentioning that in my other videos too to 
Uh, see if there's any interest in seeing me do live streams or something like that or recordings of that. Uh, just what people would like to see. Um, I'm doing this out of enjoyment. I'm not going to be, I mean, I don't have nearly enough followers and watch time to make this monetarily viable at this point. But I do enjoy doing this kind of stuff and just giving people different perspectives. What I call the everyman uh, perspective. I'm not an expert at all of this stuff, but I am uh, interested in showing you what the games are like and hopefully pique your interest enough that you'll try them out. All right? All right. I'm Dren608. Until we meet again, stay safe and bye-bye.